Hello, and welcome back to Despair. Not the normal Despair, but... <laughs> welcome back to Doggy Doggy Literature Club. So as you can see, things went well last time. See traceback.txt for details. Interesting. What the hell is this? What the fucking hell? This is a nightmare. It has to be. Trace back that text. This isn't real, is it? Ah, uh, okay. I was wondering if that was an actual file. An uncaught exception occurred. Oh jeez, I didn't break anything, did I? Actually, you know what? This is probably a lot easier if I just deleted her. She's the one who's making this so difficult. Aha, well, here goes. Nothing? Huh. Well, then... This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sorry, I wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe my eyes are sh what my eyes are showing me. I expressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday. To say you that I would be there for her. I told her that I knew what was best and everything would be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? I shouldn't have confessed to her. It's not what Sayuri needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. And why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts kept telling me everything I should have done to prevent this. I just spent more time with her, walking her to school, and remained friends with her like it always has been. And I could have prevented this. I, I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature, Colum. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Not that I can do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this kit with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. So I couldn't do what she needed for me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 Ends. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Uh, okay, well, okay, well. Oh, what the fuck? You? What did you tell her to do? What is... Was this a new game? Okay, so th this is probably the messing with you stuff people were talking about. So, she isn't... Is there any of her left here? It's just a, a, a bundled grouping of mostly Monokia, but s some stuff from them. I didn't really do many saves. What happens if... What? Uh, I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance. Her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is my neighbor and good friend since we were children. I didn't even pick a name this time, mind you. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see her making, but used to walk to school, etc., etc. So we're ah, I feel better off from Uh, however, I just sigh and I don't from the crosswalk and let catch up to me. Uh, it's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friends, uh, friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. 
I, I always tell myself it's about time I uh, meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on with average, uh, on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh, there's always the anime club. It's not like there'd be any girls in it anyways. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and so before I know it, after uh, my things start blank the other wall, look for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Really aren't any, uh, that interests me. Besides, most of them would probably be too, uh, demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Peaky. Monica. <laughs> oh, are, are, are you, are you? Oh my. Oh my goodness, I totally expect, I didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Um, yeah it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other, but we were talking to class last year. Probably the most popular girl, smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So, having your smile so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for, anyways? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you can check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Haha, <laughs> about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really, you quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the uh, major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. Uh, i much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special of it. In case that, uh, what clubs did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club- oh, wait, you haven't started? Did you- Not have enough people in this place or something? Literature. That sounds kind of dull. How many members do, uh, do you have so far? Um, haha. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know. Literature club- uh, literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of our, uh, my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that uh, manga's literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, she's a, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Hibiki. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I want to ask you to join, but if you get at least the very least, uh, visit my club, it'll make me really happy. Please? Uh, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how I could ever refuse someone like Monica. Sure, I guess I could, uh, check it out. Haha, <laughs> awesome! You're really sweet, Ibiki, you know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Uh, okay. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her ir irresistible smile. I generally found Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I, ver I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back. And I brought a guest with me. Uh, I guess. Seriously, you brought a boy. What killed the atmosphere? Don't be mean, Natsuki. By the way, welcome to the club, Ibiki. All the words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So, let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? Oh, no, no I'm not. Natsuki? The girl with the sour attitude's name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think probably first year. Anyway, Natsuki's energetic as usual. This is Yuri, the vice president. Oh, so you're the vice president now. Oh, I gotta, I gotta keep kicking out the vice president and killing them. Uh, <laughs> apparently she's not part of the story anymore. So I had to take a guess what was happening. She's been so meta for the wall breaking, and in that file, um, it actually did have some stuff in there just to delete her, just, just delete uh, Sayori from the game. Is, is, is that what they did? I mean, that's sort of what it seems to imply. Yuri, who appears comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's uh, nice to meet both of you. I so I ran into Hibiki in a classroom and decided to come check out the club. So why were you in a classroom, by the way? You're right, you're looking for materials. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, did I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, you, you know, sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but just happened to run into him. Okay, so you see the, at least I can some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Hibiki? I miss how you work. <laughs> the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks over to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. It's definitely awkward to take a seat next to Monica. So, you didn't really plan on coming here. But we'll make sure you feel at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone who does what I want to... I don't know. I'm 
so suspicious of you. You're still my next favorite, so <laughs> if I have that choice. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It's totally hard to start a new club. I wonder if there really were more people in the club. It's just every... Can you eliminate me? Oh... Possibilities. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting in a, uh, all the effort into uh, to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people you're both fun and worthwhile. But this makes school events like the festival much more important. I'm confident that we can all really go to the club before we graduate, right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same girl. Monik must have worked really hard to find these two. Yuri returns carrying tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us for a second. Tea in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, it doesn't. A hot cup of, uh. Ah, I guess. Uh, don't leave stuff into just trying to impress you. Oh, that's not. Interested, Yuri looks away. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I mean, you know, I believe. I believe you, I believe you. It's interesting to see what's different, but it is quite redundant for a lot of things. Especially since I'm still recording on the first day I started this. So I haven't forgotten shit. Not yet. Not yet, at least. Uh, well, tea and reading might not be best. I least I enjoy tea, I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Hibiki, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, yeah. Maga, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Head perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but keeps quiet. No, not much for reader, I guess. Okay. Change. But... Um. Oh, this is definitely the same as it was before. <laughs> I'd expect that from you, Yuri. Ah, uh, right, pull them over. Oh, and yep. Same idea. Yep, and Yuri's stepping up. Hold on, there's still one problem. That's uh, it, now that Yuri's also right next to join this club. Because he's not by. So other clubs I have to look at and uh, lose my train of thought. I'll throw you guys there, but check the dice. Right. I'll tell you the truth is, if you think is, we don't have enough members to form an official club. <gasps> you need four. We need four. Well, whose fault is that, Monik? Yeah, I don't even know if it's her fault. I'm sort of jumping to conclusions on some of these things. Uh, and I've been trying really hard to find new members. If we don't find one before the festival, d -d 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 defenseless against these girls, how am I supposed to make it clear to decisions like this? Because I'm letting everyone down in the situation. Besides, the club is something to do. Like, suppose the first spend the right, 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 right. So I then, okay, I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my, oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Abiki? Yeah, that could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you're really just a, uh, left after all this, I would be super pissed. Abiki, I'm so happy. You can become an official club now. Thanks so much for this. You're really amazing. Uh, I do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Wait, what did she say? To give you a great... That's an awkward way of phrasing it. Huh. Okay, everyone. I think that we can officially end today's meeting with a, on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's uh, assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Hey, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Ha ha ha. Yeah, yeah, can I can't even the class star. Monica's my meteor who writes. Yeah, I feel inside. Well, I'm inside of sound. Uh, meanwhile, the girls continue to chat as Yuri cleans out the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. And no one to walk home with. That I just brought a club room and made my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Not skinny. Yuri. And of course, Monica. Will I really be uh, happy spending a uh, day after, uh, every day after school in the literature club? So if you need four, let's say this happens again somehow and one of them disappears. Even though I joined, we wouldn't have enough. We couldn't do a festival thing. Right? Unless that, the three, it changes the three for some reason. Ah, uh, group question, one of these girls. All right, I just need to make the most of my sins. I'm sure a good fortune for me to start around boom tonight. Yeah. And you have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Sure. I didn't get to read shit. Fuck. I want to pick stuff Sayori would want. Hopeless. Okay. Um... I, I don't know. Um. Is 
suicide. Uh, okay, well, that's... Oh, <laughs> what did I pick? <laughs> I don't even know what I picked. Uh, s clouds. Fireworks. Um... I... I don't fucking know range... Oh, what did I pick that? Okay. Accidentally did that. Shit. Does this go which, to whichever one actually makes the most sense, or did they, like, take out all the words that apply to her? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Man. Um... I don't know, man. Hi, Ganabiki. Let's see, you didn't run away on us. <laughs> no, don't worry. You keep erasing my memories. <laughs> you at least erase my memories this time. I don't know what happened previously. Uh, this might be a little strange for me, but at least I kept my word. I was last to in. Everyone's okay. Uh, I don't <laughs> Good old glitchy stuff. Thanks for keeping your promise, Abiki. I've listened to overwhelming of a commitment for you. Uh, making you dive head first in the literature when you're not even a captain suit. <laughs> oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. You already had to be a drag to you by Monica. I don't know if you just plan to come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, you won't, be, uh, you won't see the end of it. Uh, okay. That someone's not on the history yet. Uh, Natsuki certainly doesn't have a big persona keeps my collection in the club room. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Uh, yeah. It's okay. The same as before. Hmm. Oh, might you have an interest in picking up a book to read? I'm in the club now. Feels right to do something like that. Wait. I mean, like that. Uh, if you don't really want to, forget to anything. Uh, no, it's not like that, Yuri. I just want to be a part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Are you sure? Uh, it just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches her and pulls out a book. I don't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so I should, uh, should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want. Yeah, yeah, this is the same as before. You're to talk to her a little bit more, but at the same time, I feel bad distracting you from reading and get a glimpse of her cover. Okay, this seems to be the same. So far. I'm gonna keep an eye out for anything that might might change. Wait, this changed. Basically, it's about this religious camp that turned it into a human experiment prison. The people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But even the facility gets even worse, and they selectively start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and increasing them. That is different. That is 100% different than what she told me last time. What? Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm, I'm really into it. That's the same name, though. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. Are you sure? Are you sure? I don't know. I don't trust any of you anymore. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? You made it sound like it's going to be a nice story, but the doctor came up from nowhere. Huh. Are oh, you not a fan of that sort of thing, Vicky? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely tell the sort of story. I hope so. I've got years into those things. She's still sly, uh, shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story, it's kind of challenges you, uh, challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things like this happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of awful people and we're all worthless anyway. Then suddenly... I'm rambling, aren't I? <laughs> oh... <laughs> what is happening? Uh, not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like, uh... Books and writing fill my thoughts. My whole body gets incredible. <laughs> um. Oh, it doesn't say it for this one. My whole body gets incredibly something. 
I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. What's it say now? No, what did it actually say? Oh, editing echo, you should, uh... You should, uh, crop that or some shit. Freeze it. I'm sorry to say if I... Uh, I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. Don't have to stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. It just means you're passionate about reading. It's like, let's listen, let's reflect. Uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well uh, get started reading it, right? Oh, that, that scared me. Shit. Jump scares. We have jump scares now. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to, but... <laughs> what are you saying? Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieve the book uh, that I put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah. Uh, so what if I actually did save? What, if I saved and like loaded stuff, would it have remembered that I got that ending and be putting this weird stuff in anyways? Mm, yeah, are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to, it's just that's something I'm not, I'm not very used to. As a reading company of someone. I say, well, if somebody distracts you and open a book, start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading company. Okay. Same as stuff. Oh! Ah, I missed that one. Shit! Nah! Nah! The ones from before were showing up in the history. Damn it! Yeah, she apologizes a lot. Uh. Uh. Was that in the original? Uh, the fact that the main character minds you. I thought I thought you might be something else about here. Something else. Never mind. We need to get that far. Okay. So I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> You're. Are you feeling all right? Eh? Huh? He's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing. He puts her hands on her chest and as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. He stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Hey, Biki. Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. It was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you, uh, worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing. <laughs> Don't worry, I believe in you, silly. He just, uh, does this sometimes. It's nothing alarming. Alright, I just say so. Anyway, why don't we start with, uh, sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Uh, she might be wise, so I just figured we could start without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I made a mental note of where I left off in the book and slipped back in my bag. Okay. So. Uh, wait. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem. I wanted to, oh, 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 oh. She was eager for today. Not that she was eager on a previous one. It's like, isn't this the first one? Okay. Hi, Hibiki. Having a good time so far. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good to hear it. So you're new and everything. If you ever have suggestions for club activities or new things to do, I'll always be listening. Bring Sayori back. That's what I want. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, keep that in mind. Of course, I'm afraid to bring things up. Must be off on the phone. Tell me what I said. Anyway, I wanna I wanna share your phone with me. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Biggie. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of a barrier that uh, we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my phone. Mm-hmm. Great job, Ibiki. I was going, uh, oh, in my head while reading, it's really metaphorical, I'm not sure why I didn't. That's my easy. Uh, wait. Uh, I mean, it's a bad thing, but sometimes I get the impression that she just, she's just totally given up on people. Uh, Yuri's mind slowly detached from reality. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. That's why she gets so happy when you treat her with lots of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. God, that... It, it was the same at first, and then it started to change. Like earlier, I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all start sharing our poems with each other. Huh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. You still have plenty of time, so I'm more than glad you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should uh, go get my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? 
Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Oh, that's because I have to say, yeah, it doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Uh... I wonder if there's, like, more meaning to these. Hold oh, wall. Is it looking at me? In fact, like it's about my surrounding burn. But my burn eyes can see no... I no longer see color. Are those in my room? Are they talking? Are they simply poems? I'm fine. Sheet of paper. That's not frantic. Scrawling paper trip in my ears. Begins to crinkle. Who's looking at me? The R.I. breathes as a pace before reaching my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right. He's right here. Is this different? Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. This seems different because I don't really remember this. So, what do you think? It's very free form. That's what kills. Sorry, I'm not the person to ask. Yeah. Talk to them nowadays. Et cetera, et cetera. I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. Right. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany. Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to uh, talk about deep stuff like that because it's coming on kind of strongly. Maybe after everyone is uh, better friends with each other. Yeah, you know, when everyone's gone. Uh, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets a few sense of point. Okay, this is actually the same. Yeah, same as last time. Okay. Sure. I assume it's going to be basically the same. Yeah. There might be small yeah, changes. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, yeah, that's the same one. I like that one. That's probably my favorite of yours that I've seen so far. Yeah, so you like it. I like it. Yep, yep. Okay. If this is even any different. Is here a Except, you know. Same so far. Yeah, this is... I believe this is the same. Yeah. Uh, terrible handwriting. What? No, it's not bad at all. Etc, etc. Uh, did you go into more detail this time? Symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining piece of comfort, unable to let go of the past. Okay. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I didn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Huh? That's nothing really. Yours was impressive too, so. Nah, if anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. Yeah, going back to the stuff I remember at least. If I did, if some of these lines did happen previously, I might just not be remembering some of them. Okay. That's everyone. I glance around the room. It was a little more stressful than I anticipated. Just, everyone's judging me. Ah, oh, they're nice. So nice literature club, I say. Ah, I guess that's, uh, in the end, that's what I got myself into. Across the room, Mom. The music. It sounded like it was a little bit off, like the notes changed a little bit. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. Duh, they changed the exchange. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh no! I can't. I, I can't rely on Sayori again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, well, they're gonna come to me again. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... It's involved you. Okay. <laughs> Got pushed out of that one pretty quickly. Oh! This is involved you taking a... You're in that! As long as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look, <laughs> Saki! You want to be edgy, bitch? Edgy? I'm sorry that my lifestyle is too much for some of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just, just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. 
If you want to prove anything, stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. I think you can counterbalance your tax burden just by acting, dressing, and acting cute. Huh. The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Well, be careful, you might cut yourself on your edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? <gasps> yeah, I suspect that might be it. Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong in your head? Yeah, go on. Let me hear everything you really think. I'm sure it'll be heads over heels for you after this. Huh? Suddenly, Yuri turns towards me as if she knows how standing it. Hey, Vicky, she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I agree with that. I was so close. Fuck, I have to make a choice. None of the above. See, can I go to the menu? All my saves are gone. It took away my saves. I just noticed that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Here, I'll save it, and I'm going to exit the main menu and see what, what happens if I do that. Oh, this is new game again. Huh. Okay, nothing particularly interesting. I, I, I don't know. I actually think Natsuki's actually a lot more stable of a person. Even if she tends to be. I don't know! Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by its toe. If it hollers, let it go. Eeny, meeny, meet, 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 my meet, mo. Hi. Monica? How you doing? Uh, um... Hey, Vicky. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay... Sorry about that. No, you really have tried to. I shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. I go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> uh, some president I am, right? Yeah? Uh, I can't even confront my own pro uh, club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. <laughs> but I have uh, never have it uh, in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'll be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the glass room. You okay? Uh, she quickly runs away. How's oh, you? It looks like they're uh, done here. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Hibiki. Please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. You know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow, right? Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. <sighs> Yuri looks uh, at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm Vice pres uh, President Cecil. Please let me take care of that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me to be around for something, Yuri. Uh, I wonder if there's something about how she holds her hair like that. It's not that. It's not that. I, I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Hibiki. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. Ah. Uh, I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I really... I can see why people recommend it. This is really interesting. Not, no idea where this is going to go. <laughs> oh my. Uh, I was wondering if there's... Uh, 
Interesting. So let's go by date modified. Trace back. There's a little devil inside all of us. Beneath their manufactured perception, their artificial reality is a writhing, twisted mess of dread, loathing, judgment, elitism, self-doubt, all thrashing to escape the feeble hold of their hosts, sleeping through every little crevice they can find into their willpower, starving them along motivation and desire into their stomach, forcing them to drown their guilt in comfort food, or into a nearly open gash in their skin, in it only by the sleeves of a cute new shirt. Such a deplorable tangle of masses already present in every single one of them. That's why I chose I choose not to blame myself for their actions. All I did was untie the knots. I can hear you. I can hear you. Yeah, I was wondering if there was anything, uh, characters. No! <laughs> it literally deleted. It literally deleted. Shit. Because that, that just happened today. Oh my. Anything else? Log. Happy thoughts. <laughs> no! Sayori! What the hell, man? <laughs> this hasn't been on. Uh, I'm curious what this actually opens. Okay, done looking at the files. <laughs> I thought there might be more. There was more. Shit, man. Um, Papa. Okay. Peace. Okay. After image. Okay. Hope. Okay. I like that. Uh. Don't you move. Don't you dare move. Oh, it moved again. Entropy. Boop, boop, boop. Pick random ones, random, random, random ones. Da 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 da. Heaven sent. Sayuri. Well then, another day passes and it's time for the love meeting. <laughs> I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Hibiki. Ah, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little bit. Um, Yuri glances over his shoulder, looking over the room. Natsuki is reading manga at her desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. And suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. From yesterday, I, I really need to apologize. I don't think that's ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't actingly, acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you're considerate and apologize. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. I mean, yeah. Maybe we should... Uh, we were just a little extra sensitive because of our first time sharing poems. Whatever it was, it didn't make me think, uh, think any less of you. I decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. No way. 100%. 100% unlikely can't be a bad person. 100%. And now that you're apologizing, I don't really... Uh, I know you didn't really mean it. Ah, uh, Hibiki. Don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're uh, such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around, and... Uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah, uh, no, I... No, uh, no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. Alright, you've got all about it. I know it's stupid, but I can help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Huh? Jeez. Whatever yours on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Uh, I accept your apology anyways, if it helps you feel better about it. 
Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Now she turns to me. You're uh, still on. You're still on trial, though. Hey. Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Ah, uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. Some of you guys weren't worried anything. Nah. Nah, not to you, us. I was not. Ah. Uh, well, what took you so long, anyways? Um, well, my last period today is study hall. Now it's kind of lost track of time. Ah, uh, that makes no sense. Okay. Practicing Vienna. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm working on a song attack. We've done it. All right, well, sounds cool. Look forward to it. So, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Won't lay down here. Yeah. Smile sweetly. Um, I didn't mean to, uh, any pressure or anything like that. Ah, uh, don't worry. I was hoping that I could, uh, share it with you anyways. I guess that's what I've been, uh, that's why I've been practicing so much recently. Didn't we, like, re-meet, like, just a couple days ago? I see. I'm not sure if Monica's referring to the whole club or just me. You know, the whole club would make a whole lot more sense, but, yeah. In that case, best of luck. Thank you. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. Just not to bring up the, uh, anything the three of us talked about. Besides, Nasuke had already uh, run off into the closet. Hey, Biggie. Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. I planned on it anyways. Okay, can we start now? Let's find a place to s Ah, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just stopped pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah, but I need to try to calm down. I'll be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Here takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. I actually have a request, yeah. Mind if we take some I'll make some tea first, right. Okay. This feels like the same as before. Oh. Oh, she... She, she wanted me to stay here for the water pitcher thing. Uh, did he really leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. She's actually act, act, acting differently. Okay. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Something holding her up. Oh, I'm bored just waiting here, so I'll decide to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for you... Is that music coming from the... The actual classroom we were in? It sounds muffled now. The most logical place for you to be would be the nearest water fountain. I started heading down the hallway. <sighs> What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. Sounds like breathing. <laughs> Sharp inhale like someone sucking air in through the teeth. And in vain. I reach the corner and peer around it. Ear. <gasps> yeah, figured. I reach the Oh, okay, that's auto going forward. Uh, I didn't even try to do that. Uh, hurry sound the classroom. I was here to leave you again. Okay. Uh, okay. Just none of that gets to go in the history. Great. Yeah, shock and all that. That's what happened. Sort of been suspecting that since, uh, yeah, a while now. I'm back. Thanks for, uh, waiting patiently. Hey, Biggie, do you like your long tea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's fine, yep. Yeah. Seems the same as... Last time now. Hmm. Not really sure where this is going. Why certain things are happening or... Hmm. Um. Is it not actually... Your breast? Was it not really a breast joke and it was a fake out breast joke and it's really more about your arm? And you don't want to be leaning down? Or like placing your arm down? Especially after you just fight? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this is the stuff about, uh, sitting on the floor. Seems to be going the same way. I mean, anyone who's in a situation where they're actually, you know, to their own body, that's not... that's obviously not good. Sayori seemed like she had some... Significant issues. I don't know about Natsuki. I don't think I've delved into her stuff enough to get an idea. I'd be I'd, I'd be surprised if she didn't also have something after the other two having that. And Monica, seeming like she have she has something too. Starts to breathe heavily. I I, I can't. Freaky. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. 
My teacups gets uh teacup gets knocked over. Hey Piggy. My heart. Stop pounding, you Piggy. I can't come down. Wait, who? Why is the light up? I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Hibiki? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Uh... It's time to share poems. Did she like... Um, hey, Yuri. What was that? Your eyes. Your eyes. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Okay. Uh, okay. Seems same-ish. Uh, that seems different. That makes me so happy. So amazing that I feel like I'm a value. I'm valued. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart is pound pounds just holding it. Uh, I want to write a poem about this feeling. It's not bad to be. I'm not feeling weird, right? I'm having a harder time than usually concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read my poem too. Okay? Is it gonna be different? This is definitely different. Uh, a rotating wheel, turning an axle, grinding, bolt's head, linear gearbox, falling sky, uh, seven holy stakes, a dock ship, is this supposed to be a metaphor <laughs> for, like, um, penis in a th vagina, docking, uh, <laughs> thin rope tied to a thicker rope, uh, that's just my first impression, I suppose, uh, a torn something harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, Time controlled by slipping cog wheels, existence of a god, uh, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time, uh, devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human eyes, kaleidoscope, holy snakes, bunch of gearbox, sky floating stars, god disproving, existence of god, a wheel rotating six dimension, 40 gears in a second, ticking clock, a clock that takes one second of every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second, a bottle uh, a old head of holy snakes tied to the existence of a dark ship to another world, a kaleidoscope of blood written on it clocks. A time devouring prayer connected sky, forty gears and open human eyes in all directions, a breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing partial, breathing snakes, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy snakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. Okay. That was different this time. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. My pen? My my pen? Ah, uh, oh, that is a Pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, uh, I just really like the way that it writes. Oh, yeah, yeah, that it writes. Are you sure you're not doing something else with that? So I wrote this poem with it. Now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay. What did I just... We pretend this conversation never happened. You can keep the poem, though. Please keep it. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, let's just pretend it never happened. Definitely. Shit. Hey, Monica. The fuck is up with you? Uh, hey, Vicky, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I don't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous if you spend so, uh, so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Uh, isn't that kind of messed up? Yeah, I mean, yeah, sort of. What about you? How are you messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I mean, she just gets kind of a, a high from it. I mean... She was going on about how she was never liked before. It might even be like a sexual thing, but the point is you've been kind of enabling her. I have. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. And while you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. 
To put it lightly, at least I have it together in the head and I know how to treat my club members. But anyway, you wanna... I don't believe any of you have it together in the head at this point. Shit, man. You wanna read my poem now? I like the, the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. The colors, they won't. Fright. Beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, and... Kafani! A meaningless noise. This is different. Similar. The noise won't stop. Filing, creating, waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sighing, cosine, tangent, like I'm playing, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. Something, somethingless, something of meaningless. Delete her. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, uh, oh, uh, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, you'll get it eventually. Here's uh, Monica's writing step of the day. Sometimes you find yourself facing, facing a difficult decision. That happens not for you to save your game. Because you'll lose your saves later, of course. You never won't know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, okay, I, I guess. Fuck, let's, let's go see if there's any files changed. Oh, okay, we have anything changed. What changed? This is the only new one yet. I hate this. I can't do anything. Nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now, but that that means I won't get to talk to you anymore. All I want for you is to hate, hate them. Why is this so hard? Okay. I'm sort of getting the impression of what's going on here. Da, da, da. I don't think I could hate Sayuri, though. God. Yuri is very concerning in terms of how she expresses her emotions. She wasn't bad in the original stuff. She wasn't at all, but now she seems so much worse. Hmm. That's not really... Uh, okay. <sighs> Same basic stuff. Oh. Uh, she actually makes something new. Um, it's, uh, so just make sure you find a little bit of influence from everyone. I think you're at least being influenced by uh, Yuri a little bit, aren't you? I mean, you've been, like, spending some time with her or whatever. You know, Monica and I are just as good as her. At poems, I mean. So you should really try to learn something or you'll never get better. Here's the one I wrote. I'll make sure you learn something from it. Okay. Pretty sure this is the same. It's a nice... I, I prefer your first one, still. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yesterday's too short. Mmm, you sort of think the manga is what she's referring to when she's doing this. Two girls in the same I respectfully won't name. Uh, who cares what someone likes, as long as it's not hurting someone... Uh, hurting anyone, and it makes them happy. I mean, I agree. I mean, I agree with the premise. Is, is it something that's not the manga? I think it might be something that's not the manga. Kind of ironic that even in my one place of comfort, I can't even uh, have people that respect me. Jeez, now you're making me complain too much. What did I do? For what it's worth, I respect you. Well, I guess thanks. It's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more, so... Whatever, we're done sharing, so you can leave now. Uh, okay. Isn't... Sure, I I'd love to read the special poem. Oh, I love the poem. It's a great poem. Oh, I love your... It's an amazing poem. <laughs> 